Catherine, thanks so much for taking the time to join us this morning. It's so great to see you. I wasn't sure if Maverick was uh, going to join us or not. I know, I know. He's on. Uh, I had my sister pick him up to take him on a walk so he wouldn't be bouncing off the walls in the interview. <laughs> We would not mind seeing him at all, but I totally understand. Uh, you've been an advocate for pet fostering and rescue for years, and the pandemic has brought even more awareness to this topic. What advice do you have for people looking to adopt animals, especially right now? Yeah, I mean, it's so crazy. It's actually around this time of year, eight years ago, that my sister and I started fostering dogs for um, a woman here locally in Los Angeles and just helping out. And it was really when I first became introduced when I was first introduced to the whole world of animal rescue and fostering and it ended up being such a beautiful and amazing experience for me and it led me to foster Maverick which ended up being a foster failure as they call it and um, and it brought him into my life and so I always this time of year start thinking about just what a huge gift that was eight years ago and really just I've always been such a huge animal lover but being able to be introduced to that whole world of animal rescue and um, have it be such a huge passion of mine. And, you know, I, I remember eight years ago being uh, going around and trying to find a, a vacuum and seeing the company Bissell and seeing that they do such huge work with the Bissell Pet Foundation. And I instantly wanted to support that brand and that company because we were so aligned with uh, passions. And so now to work with them on a professional level with um, the Bissell Crosswave X7 Pet Pro Wet Dry Vac makes me so excited because I'm like, <laughs> it's it's like everything finally came together and they have such a similar passion to, to mine, of course, in helping homeless pets and being a voice for the voiceless. So it's something I'm just really excited about. Yeah, and you know, tis the season as well to maybe help pet owners make their lives a little bit easier. For with sure, product, right? yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think everybody around the holiday season wants to find ways to make things easier and make their home and their environment just as clean as possible. And if you have a pet that sheds, like, you know, like Maverick does, being able to have something that, you know, washes the floor and vacuums in one swoop makes it so easy and just like a one-step thing. So yeah, I think especially around the holidays, I always encourage people to try to reach out to local fosters and um, and different you know animal rescue organizations and just see if fostering is something for you. And uh, and I think around the holidays, people want to you know bring animals into their home, and I always suggest fostering first because you know animals are a huge responsibility, and uh, and to be able to foster first, just to kind of get your get your feet wet in the little in the space is super important. That's right. I mean, you called it a foster failure, but of course it's really a foster success. It's just expanding. <laughs> I know. <your> <laughs> uh, I have two cats who love not only shedding, but scattering litter everywhere. So like many everywhere. Cats, I definitely relate to the feeling of just the constant cleanup. So <laughs> yeah, well, then you'll definitely love this because it's literally like, I, I always say, I'm like, I wish that somebody had on camera my first time using it because I literally made, I mean, Maverick came in from a walk and spilled his water bowl and like had dirt everywhere. And I was like, there's no way it's going to get, you know, like liquid and, and, uh, and dirt up in one swoop. And I did it. And I literally looked at my sister and I was like, my God, this is so easy. So it's, you're going to love it for that. <laughs> well, thank you for that tip. And has Chris given it a shot? How's he doing now keeping up with the messes? I mean, it's, it's like a totally a hot commodity in our house. My sister definitely hoards it the most for sure. Every time she comes over, she has a total obsession with it. So everybody gets their, their own turn with it. <laughs> All right. Nice. Well, we've touched upon the holidays. I can't believe I'm saying this, but they're basically here. Thanksgiving is next week. Your whole family always gathers at your mom's house this time of year. How are mm -hmm. plans coming along for 2021's festivities? And what do you and Chris most look forward to? I mean, I think just gathering and being with family is what we all look forward to most. Um, and especially, you know, as my daughter gets older, being able to kind of create memories and uh, she's definitely, you know, more aware than she was last year of just being able to really celebrate the holidays. And um, around this time of year, I always, you know, as I said before, I always just think of different ways to continue traditions and the tradition that my sister and I had of being able to foster pets in the local area is something that I am really passionate about and something that I also want to pass on to to our kids and be able to continue doing as like a tradition in our family so it's um uh, it's a my favorite time of year I'm like willing Christmas to come with my <laughs> sweater I'm like we're gonna start listening very to festive. Christmas very on, very on <laughs> yeah. point. 
Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So it's, it's a fun time of year and it's really special because we all gather together and, um, and yeah, I'm just really excited about it. Yeah. And Chris seemed like he fit in so seamlessly from the start. Have you yeah. introduced any new traditions that the fam has embraced? What did he bring to the table, so to speak? Um, I mean, it's, yeah, I definitely fit in very easily. Um, and I think just like the tradition of, of being able to all, we all make a dish together and we all gather at my mom's house and, um, and just have a ton of fun. I mean, I think just being able to continue and, and, you know, all be happy and be together. And, uh, I think when, you know, people are working and traveling, so many people in my family are traveling and working and, you know, especially throughout the year, bouncing all over the place. Uh, so it's fun to always have this time to look forward to, to all, you know, be in one place and be together and, um, and, uh, you know, just have kind of the holiday spirit around. And then again, just be able to pass on traditions, especially, you know, with, uh, with kids to be able to be really excited about the holidays and also be able to explain to them, you know, fun traditions like fostering and, uh, an animal rescue that I'm super passionate about. That's right. And, you know, you mentioned Lila's getting a little older now. She's a year old and we'll be able to participate and take it all in a bit more than when she was brand new. I know. <laughs> How exciting is it to see her experience these things? Can she sense the energy that's happening? Yeah, I mean, for sure. She it's it's the best thing ever. I mean, it's been such a joy for me to um, motherhood's been such a, a wonderful experience. I always tell people that uh, before they choose to have kids that they should foster or adopt a an animal because you get a little bit of a sneak preview into what it's like to wake up early. Like Maverick would always wake me up at like five 30 or six to go <laughs> out. So I have been used to waking up early and, um, used to, you know, being able to, to, you know, just be able to think about something that's not yourself. And, um, and so it was such a great experience for me and, uh, and yeah, I mean, just seeing her love, and grow and just to be able to see her love animals as well is such a huge gift for me. And it's, it's exciting just to see, especially when she's with Maverick, just to be able to see how much she's obsessed with him. I'm like, it warms my heart. It's like my two little babies together. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, you know, Lila and Maverick and Chris and Maverick, of course, the everyone's best buds, right? Well, yeah. I mean, it's, it's always like a big moment, you know, when you introduce somebody to, um, to your animal, if it's a cat or if it's a dog or if it's a horse, whatever it is, but it's, you know, I think if you're really passionate just about animal rescue and animals in general, it's always a big moment to have your pet meet anybody new. And, uh, and it's why, like I, it's why for me being able to work with a brand like Bissell just makes it even more special for me because their passion is, you know, to help other animals and to help homeless pets through the Bissell Pet Foundation. And it's, you know, such a huge passion of mine. So it, it's such a perfect partnership for me. Yeah. And animals know, they know, right? They do. They do. <laughs> well, they, know your, everything. they do. And your BDA baby Instagram live series has really taken off. What was it about the motherhood journey that inspired you to start these conversations with fellow parents, with hopeful parents, do you hope to expand this brand beyond uh, these virtual conversations? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's been such a huge, um, a huge time for me in my life of, you know, experiencing motherhood and also during a pandemic when you don't necessarily have the community or support that you maybe would have been able to have pre-pandemic. And so being able to do my IG live, uh, series every week and to be able to continue it last week, we had our 50th episode and, uh, to be able to talk to such interesting people about such important topics. I've learned so much. I've been able to ask questions that I'm genuinely curious about, and then people submit their own questions that we talk about. So we cover fascinating topics and really important ones and have really just created a community where I think people feel like they can talk about certain topics that maybe would be considered personal or private or off limits and get information about, you know, for a lot of people, really challenging subjects. And so we kind of cover everything that there is under the subjects of before, during, after baby. And we, a couple of weeks ago, launched a newsletter, which I'm really excited about that you know, we cover every single week of what the episode was about, different things that we discussed. And I'm excited to see, you know, where we can go next with it. And um, it's just a huge passion of mine and something that I've loved doing. And especially as a new mom has just provided such support and community for me. Yeah. And especially as we're 
sort of entering or coming out of this period of isolation, right? I mean, just letting people know that they're not alone. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's, it's funny. It's like, everybody's like, what is this new normal? And I'm like, what is a new normal anymore? Like, what does that Ever look exist? like? Yeah. yeah. It's like, it's so different for everybody, but I think, you know, the most important thing is, you know, allowing people to know that there is a community and that there are people to support them. And, um, and for all of us to feel supported as well, it's like one of the beautiful things about social media is being able to feel connected to other people in that way. And I think it's also why in, you know, in this time that, you know, pet adoption and animal rescue has become such a huge and popular topic is just because, you know, people have been able to not only provide homes for, for animals and fosters and also just be able to adopt them into their own homes, but it does provide you with, you know, companionship and, yeah. um, and it's such a, a beautiful, you know, silver lining out of the whole year. Uh, well, getting to share your parenting experience with Chris, of course, what's his favorite part about being a dad and your favorite part of seeing him in that element? Oh, gosh. I mean, I, I can't, I, I don't even know, like with, when you ask a parent that, like, what's the, the one thing or their most favorite thing? Cause it's really everything. I mean, even the late night wake ups, I'm like, it's has, you have such special time with, with your child. And I think, you know, just being able to see as my daughter gets older to see her be able to kind of come into her own and become her own little person and personality. And then also just to see her huge love for animals and, um, and passion for animals. It's really sweet to see at such a young age. And, uh, again, it's really just why I am thrilled to be working with a brand like Bissell because they have such a similar passion to, yeah. to the one that I do. And that's something you and Chris share as well as that love for animals. For sure. Yes. yes. hundred percent. Everyone. Yeah. Him and everyone in my family. So it's, it's a family, a family passion. <laughs> yeah. Well, before we let you go, Adopting Maverick led you to write your first children's book. You and Chris have this shared love for animals, your new special Olympics ambassadors. What's a yes. project you'd like to take on together that you haven't yet? I mean, Special Olympics is definitely a huge one for both of us. It's um, a fairly new one. I mean, I Special Olympics has been in my life forever for me because my grandma started the organization and it's been, you know, a huge uh, theme of my life growing up. And it's something that I'm really excited for both of us to be able to be a part of together and um, in a professional capacity now in an official capacity to be able to do together. And, and uh, it's a huge passion of mine. I mean, you know, just being able to raise awareness about inclusion um, for people with intellectual disabilities and, and uh, it's right up there with, you know, just just how I was raised and such a huge passion for my entire family. So I'm really just excited about that partnership. And it's one that he and I both are really, really passionate about. Right, great. Well, thank you so much for your time. It was great to thank chat. Thank you.